So, I hear you need to do a research for an expository writing assignment. Well, I've got some tips. See, when you're just starting your research for an expository essay, unless you're already an expert on your topic, it could feel a lot like being lost in the jungle. Just look at that cheeky monkey. Or the urban jungle, if you prefer. See, just like you might have a range of knowledge about your topic, when you're lost, you could be completely lost. Or then again, maybe you have a sense of where you are and you're just lost for directions. Or you could be fully aware of where you are and just unfamiliar with the finer details of the place. Tacos. So if someone were to offer you a selection of maps, you'd choose one based on how lost you are. If you're completely lost, then a simple road map and just finding out where you are is probably a good start. Now, if you want to know how to get somewhere else most quickly, a GPS with traffic info is probably going to speed you on your way. But if you're interested in finding out more about the spot you're in, then an in-depth map, like a topographical map, is probably your next step. The same is true approaching your research. If you're completely new to the topic and basically lost, then reference sources can give you a starting point. Just like a classic roadmap, encyclopedias and atlases and other intro level materials offer background information and overviews of many topics. They're written by credible authors and they're fact checked before publication. But if you already have some sense of your topic, then new sources can give you information on the current situation. What are the new developments? Who are the key people? Think of it like a traffic update. Finally, when you're ready to delve into deeper info and research, scholarly sources offer a thorough understanding of a topic. These sources are written and extensively reviewed by experts, so they're not only super credible, but they're also innovative and significant. They're specific and they're intended for an academic audience. Beware though, starting here is a little like giving this map to this guy. But once you've gotten this far, you're becoming an expert who's ready to expound in an expository manner on your topic. And when all else fails, find a librarian and ask.